A lot of countries in Europe have begun implementing the need for a vaccine passport when you want to get on an airplane and travel anywhere. This is happening right after Europe is already seeing tidal lockdown restrictions in almost all countries. On top of that, Germany is now beginning to lock up its citizens who break quarantine and put them into refugee camps, and I'm not kidding. In this video, we will talk about both those stories and what happens next in Europe. Welcome to the channel, my name is Soran. Stick around until the end of the video, it's about to get very interesting. It is very weird to be reading some of these stories because on one side, alarm bells should be ringing everywhere. But on the other side, you can kind of understand why some of these governments are implementing the restrictions during these lockdowns that they are. Before we get into the crazy German story, Germany story, and it is crazy, let's just take a look at this, guys. The WHO against vaccine passports as a condition for travel for the time being. And I have a feeling that for the time being is just another way of saying just around the corner. The WHO said on Friday it was opposed for the time being to the introduction of certificates of vaccination, so-called vaccine passports, against COVID-19 as a condition for allowing international travelers entry into other countries. Several countries have already signaled their interest in producing vaccine passports in some form, including Spain, Belgium, Iceland, Estonia and my beloved Denmark. Obviously, I'm from Denmark myself, but I only really found out about this when my girlfriend was traveling back to Switzerland and we found out that she couldn't travel unless she had a proof that she had a negative COVID-19 test result with her from the last three days. Obviously, that's not a passport, but it does mean that you can't travel unless you have this paper essentially being a passport. It's not only these countries, uh, because also Poland uh, became the latest European country to announce the introduction of vaccine passports on Thursday last week. So many more countries are deciding to, to join this now long list of European countries where you can't travel uh, without this COVID passport. So that brings, obviously, that brings with it a whole bunch of ethical issues because that leaves a lot of people who, let's say you can't get a vaccine injection or you don't want to, you reject it, or you just can't get a test. That literally means that we are restricting a lot of the freedoms of these people who don't want a vaccine and who might not have been able to take a test. So let's take a look at what the article has to say about that. The ethics of vaccine passports has been the subject of debate with the UK's University of Exeter recently publishing a study on the impact on human rights. Digital health passports may contribute to the long-term management of the COVID-19 pandemic. However, they, are, they pose essential questions for the protection of data privacy and human rights. Anna Bedushi an associate law professor and one of the report's authors told Euronews. She added that the requirement to show your health records in order to access public and private spaces would serve to marginalize people and restrict their freedoms. So the question here becomes, how many freedoms are you willing to give up to combat this pandemic? You, I mean, you might be fine with this restriction, right? But how about the next one and the next one? Germany passed uh, emergency laws that they recently that they can punish quarantine offenders, people who repeatedly break quarantine. They can punish them by actually sending them into refugee camps. This is kind of a crazy story, so I would like your opinion on, on this. Take a look at this. German quarantine breakers to be held in refugee camps, detention centers. Germans who repeatedly refuse to quarantine after being exposed to COVID-19 will be held in detention centers and even under police guard, according to reports. Officials in the state of Saxony, so Germany is divided about, up into all of these different states, they might have different uh, restrictions applying to them, which is experiencing one of the worst outbreaks in the European nation, have already approved plans to hold quarantine breakers in a fenced-off section of a refugee camp, the Telegraph said. Another state, Brandenburg, also plans to use a section of a refugee camp. 
In Schleswig Holstein, repeat offenders will be kept in a special area in a juvenile detention center, the report said, citing Germany's Welt newspaper. The state of Baden Baden Württemberg has two hospitals with rooms to hold the scoff laws, which will be guarded by police, the report said. The centers are aimed at detaining only those who continue to break lockdown even after being fined, the report said. <laughs> Those are very drastic measures. I, I think you have to be very careful in doing all of this in the name of safety and security. I mean, imagine living in Germany, in, in your own town, and then you're being locked up in a refugee camp for breaking quarantine or curfew for that matter. Go back just one year and you would have called me crazy for telling you that this is where Europe would be right now. I think we have a high degree of trust in the government in Europe in, ge in general compared to the rest of the world. And I think we have good reasons to, to have a, a good degree of trust in our governments. But what if they begin to plan more restrictions? If, if, the, if it doesn't end here, if they don't just lock you up for breaking curfew or for breaking quarantine, what if they add additional restrictions or they begin to take away more freedoms and more freedoms? Where are you supposed to, to draw the line? I have a feeling that we'll be finding out soon. I, I'm a pretty positive person and I hope that, that the pandemic will disappear as temperatures get warmer over the summer. But I just have this weird feeling that that it won't end here, that things will, it'll continue. And as time goes by, we'll be asked to give up more and more freedoms in the name of security and, and for the commonwealth. Tell me what you think in the comment section, guys. I would love to hear your opinion on all of this. Have a good day and I'll see you guys tomorrow.